Now look at this beauty. <laughs> it's pink. This is a vacuum cleaner from my wife's grandmother, the Boma. It doesn't work anymore, so let's have a look and see if we can figure out what's wrong. When I plugged it in, I tried to turn on the power, it doesn't work. So typically whenever I do a vacuum cleaner, when the power just doesn't turn on, there is something with either the cable, very often it's because the cable has been damaged somewhere. So that's the end. Now my experience so far has also been that if it's damaged, it's somewhere in the mechanism that's used to uh, roll up the cable. Of course, I'm gonna grab the blue mat. When it comes to tackling any vacuum cleaner repair, you'll want to adhere to the golden rule. Seek out all of those screws and don't be surprised if some of them are playing hard to get. Cleverly hidden away, but stay persistent. Before you know it, you'll have that vacuum open in no time. Okay, I had the feeling there was still a screw somewhere. So the wires go from inside the wall, all the way through here, all the way here, all the way here. Continuity mode, so it goes beep, 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 and this one, uh -huh. okay. That's not a good sign, because we don't have continuity of one of the pins. For sure, this one should have continuity, which it doesn't. So there is 100% a problem with the cable. Uh, this is always the tricky part. Uh, so as you can see here, there is a spring. I'm always very careful with springs. Springs can be dangerous. They can jump out, they can hurt you. So I want to be extra careful with this one. Hey there, it's Future Yoni taking over the mic. I've decided to fast track this process since I invested a lot of time in cracking open this contraption. And even though the usual suspect is a wire break in the mechanism, this time it's not the case. They always use these very flexible cables, right? So the, it's stranded wire, it's not full copper wire. It's to make the cable a lot less smooth so that you can use it, you can take it around the corners. The problem with that is, is that the cable breaks because of the amount of force that is applied to the actual stranded wire. After a while one of the cables break and then yeah, you have to be lucky where to find the break. Best thing we could actually do is just replace this cable, but I don't have a cable that's that long. It was right around this moment that I had an aha realization. The problem likely resided at the plug. I decided to chop it off, as you can clearly see during this stellar framing, and tested the wires without the plug. And voila, I had continuity. The damaged plug was the culprit. I wished I thought of that sooner. Oh well, I've got a new plug on the way now. So it's the next day, I still haven't received the power plug yet. Still on its way, should have been here by now, but hasn't been delivered yet. I still had a power cable. I'm just gonna put this in so that I can test. If it's okay, then I can put everything back together. And then all I just have to do is put the new plug on. Let's see if it works. Very important guys, this is mains voltage. Make sure you know what you're doing when you're doing this. It can be very dangerous. So very quickly hooked it up. Blue to blue, brown to brown. Nothing difficult about it, but again, be careful, this is mains voltage, be careful, okay. Yes. So as you can see, very happy, it worked, we found the issue. So all we need is a plug, and this one's fixed. Thanks for watching, see you next time.